a high speed car accident left me a quadriplegic paralyzed from the neck down. And the team of orthopedic and neural surgeons told my dad that I had only 72 hours to live. I developed a iron will very young as a little boy being abandoned and placed in an orphanage. I had to fight for everything. I learned that you never give up. The only time we fail is when we quit. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Confidence Restored podcast presented by CC America, also known as Confidence Centers of America and hosted by Tamaria Jordan. This is a show designed to help you build your confidence, increase your faith and get mentally fit to overcome any trials and tribulations you may encounter. Through personal testimonies of faith, inspiration, and transformation, Tamaria and guests seek to inspire and uplift you. This message is delivered by us, CCing you on lessons learned in hopes of encouraging you regardless of where you are in life. Enjoy the show. Hello, and welcome to a live taping of both the Confidence Restored podcast and the Perspective View podcast by CC America featuring Patrick Rummerfield. If you haven't heard of Patrick, you definitely should, and we are so honored that he is joining us today to tell his story about how he became the world's first fully functional quadriplegic and how he has also broken 47 world records and more. Thank you, Patrick, for joining us, and welcome to the show. Well, Tamaria, thank you very much. This is an incredible honor to be here, especially with you since we've known each other for so long. the question, how, ha- how have I been able to achieve 47 world records in first? Great question. Uh, I've been able to achieve these goals by turning dreams into goals and learning the importance of prioritizing and never giving up or giving in. I developed a iron will very young and remember, The only time we fail is when we quit. As a little boy being abandoned and placed in an orphanage, I had to fight for everything. I learned that you never give up. The only time we fail is when we quit. That is so true. And um, speaking of which, when you talk about the only time that we fail is when we quit, and then even having a life that may not go as we expect, Uh, When you think about the times in our lives, what would you describe as the worst time in your life? And then similarly, how would you describe the best time in your life and why you would describe each of those time periods in the way that you do? Okay. Worst time in my life. Well, being abandoned and placed in an orphanage due to domestic abuse had to really be a downtime, you know, uh, in my life. Uh, But I learned you never give up and you don't let anyone steal your dreams. You turn those dreams into goals. A high-speed car accident left me a quadriplegic, paralyzed from the neck down. And the team of orthopedic and neural surgeons told my dad that I had only 72 hours to live. The results of those injuries were horribly savage and terribly unforgiving, not only to me, but to my family and friends. We don't realize how damaging our actions can be. I've learned to think twice and act once. Recently, uh, I was diagnosed with advanced prostate cancer that had gone into my lymph nodes. I've gone through nine and a half weeks of daily radiation with over 30 months of hormone shots along with other treatments that left me both physically and mentally weak. They should never, we should never give up or give in. You never give up, you never give in. So where am I at now? I'm here to tell you I'm back. Last August, I became the world's first spinal cord injured athlete to climb the Manitou Incline, 2,768 stairs 
straight up unassisted. This is one of Colorado's toughest climbs. It took me six hours, one minute, and 23 seconds, but I made it. I think that's really powerful when you think about the fact that you've shared some of the worst times in your life, but then you also mentioned that you think twice and act once. And being able to achieve the 47 world records, including climbing uh, the Manitou Incline and the, the time that you did, when you think over your life and you've had some challenges that you've had to overcome, and as you've mentioned now a couple of times, never give up and never give in, what would you describe as the best time of your life? Wow. Great question. Great question. Uh, there's, there's a number of them, so I'll just kind of skip across the top of, of them and not really go into a lot of detail. Uh, the, re the listeners can get the full account you know, out of the book. Uh, Best time of my life. I would have to say when my left big toe started started to move, when my left big toe started moving, and then I slowly started regaining function is one. Two, <laughs> having two intelligent and gorgeous daughters. Uh, three would be, uh, let me think, uh, after 17 years, of uh, falling down and getting up as scabby elbows and knees, crossing the finish line at the Hawaiian Ironman Triathlon after swimming two and a half miles in the open ocean, followed by immediately by a 112 mile bike ride, followed by a 26.2 mile marathon. Again, world's first spinal cord injured athlete to participate and finish the Ironman Race of Champions, unassisted. So that was definitely a huge one. But, you know, one that was one best time that really lingers in my, in my brain almost daily is sitting, setting the world land speed record for electric car at over 245 miles an hour. That was exciting. I mean, it was incredible. Uh, wow. Great time. Uh, another time was seeing the finish line after running a 155 mile foot race across the Gobi Desert in China. Uh, I had Microsoft as a primary sponsor for that fundraiser. And everything that I do uh, is a fundraiser, is to raise money for uh, trying to help those that aren't as fortunate as myself. So, you know, so that's, you know, that's was incredible. Uh, but I must admit, I must admit, probably one of the best times of my life is uh, falling in love with my wife, Barb. She's changed my life forever. Aww. Now. And of course, writing Green Bananas, the Patrick Rummerfield story, has made me face some hard facts about myself and my life. Wow, that is so incredible and so powerful. And I love the way that you speak about your wife and your daughters and just your life experiences. And I just have to say, I've always admired you. So to your point, it's been eight years since we first met, and I just thank God for the ability to have met you in my lifetime because your testimony is something that always stuck with me. So I'm sure inquiring minds want to know. We know that Green Bananas is going to be re-released. Uh, so Green Bananas, the Patrick Romerfield story is going to be re-released on May 4th. Definitely remind yourselves to get the book so you can learn more about Patrick's life. But I'm sure inquiring minds want to know what's left for you, Patrick. Oh, uh, well, let's see. Uh, you know, every day I try to be a better person than I was the day before. And I want to help as many individuals as I possibly can in 
whatever time I have left. I hope everyone listening to this interview walks away knowing they can achieve their goals. <laughs> it won't be easy. No, 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 it won't be easy at all. But it's doable. And it's well worth the efforts. Fantastic. Well, I would just like to personally thank you again for joining us and sharing your story. I look forward to reading your story, Green Bananas, the Patrick Bummerfield story. And I know that it will certainly help a lot of individuals, as you've mentioned, being one of your life goals. It will help inspire them to keep going. And as you stated earlier, never give up and never give in. And before we close today, is there anything else that you would like to share with our listeners? Uh, life is short, so you need to get out and enjoy it. I mean, we, we were put here for a cause and, you know, don't give up on your dreams. Turn your dreams into goals and then go after them. I love that. Well, I would like to, again, thank you, Patrick, for joining us. And to everyone listening, don't forget to grab your copy of Green Bananas, which will be available on Amazon on May 4th. So Green Bananas, the Patrick Rummerfield story. Thank you, Patrick. And thanks to all of our listeners for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in to another live taping of the Confidence Restored podcast by CC America. We are grateful that you tune in week after week and join us for testimonies of faith, inspiration, and transformation. Please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe and let others know that you are listening to the Confidence Restored podcast. You can also now buy us a coffee to show appreciation at buymeacoffee.com forward slash CC America. Until next time, be blessed.